Matthew Renna is the Vice President of E-Mobility at Volkswagen of America. And Matthew, great to have you here, but yeah, let's start you. off by talking about what is E-Mobility at Volkswagen? E-Mobility is a really exciting strategy that we have going on at Volkswagen. Obviously, we're a big car brand with a lot of power behind us, and we're really excited to take on some new generations of technology into our consumer products. Okay. Give us some for instances. Yeah, for instance, imagine 200 miles of charge to 300 miles of charge uh, in a price point that we can all afford. Um, for an for, electric car. For an electric car with everyday usability, with more utility than we'd expect, with uh, you know every feature under the sun, We're talking autonomy and connected systems, all of that in a, in a Volkswagen product with the sales and distribution network around the country. That's uh, it's a really exciting thing for us. So and you're, even though you're talking e-mobility, you're talking at a retail level. Absolutely, this isn't this isn't a premium niche product. We're looking at or, or for fleets or anything. Or like for that. fleets, so we're talking everyday usability and uh, and really what customers want. Okay, uh, innovation is part of your title too. What's the innovation in all? This is absolutely part of e-mobility. We need to be thinking about next generation materials and products and parts things that are uh, not currently part of the auto industry. And for that, we're pulling together a lot of different streams of value into the uh, into our supply base, including no, new joint ventures, along with some of our existing auto, deal, uh, auto suppliers. Okay, you just came from Tesla. You told Sorry. me you were at Honda before that, even Porsche ahead of that. Yes. What are you trying to get differently done at Volkswagen? I think through these times in my career, a lot of my career has been spent in engineering, so I have a lot of technical background. Uh, my time at Tesla kind of forced me to rethink a little bit what automotive industry means, and, and now to apply that to Volkswagen is a really rewarding experience. Mobility too, everyone, the big buzz at this conference here at the management briefing seminars right. is sharing and all that. What are you looking into in that regard? Sharing as in ride sharing? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think we have to think about mobility as a service, and um, you know we have some exciting announcements that we've made as far as uh, internal projects and partnerships across the industry, and um, you know more stuff to come. Okay, what will you be presenting here at the conference? So here, I really want to focus on the uh, the value chain that uh, e-mobility and how it inter interacts with the, the existing and new supply base. And in addition to that, I want to talk about some of the product features of EVs that maybe not so apparent to those that haven't been driving them for years. Like what? Uh, so flexibility, I think, is the biggest one. Uh, we think about a conventional automotive platform in terms of where the engine is placed relative to the driver and how crash stru structures interact. Um, but instead, with an EV, you have the battery underneath and these really small drive units that are easy to package. So for a given platform, you can stretch this into being a giant SUV or a tiny sedan, and you're not really giving up as much as you would on a conventional internal combustion engine. So this comes back to the engineering part of what you Absolutely. were talking about. It yeah. really opens up the, the, the book for engineers. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, uh, occupant position, wheel size, overhangs, all of the critical things you use to distinguish products for customers can now be done on the same platform, which really builds a lot of efficiency into the system. So I gotta believe you're seeing that is going to be coming at Volkswagen as well. Absolutely. We have the MEB package that I'm leading here at Volkswagen. It's our modular electric toolkit. Um, and this is meant to span across a lot of different uh, uh, platforms and products. And um, it's a really exciting thing. When do you think the tipping point will happen where battery electric cars can be profitable for OEMs? At least as yeah. profitable maybe more than the internal combustion engine ones. Well, where I'd really focus the conversation is the value proposition to the consumer. That's what we think about every single day. Uh, one of the biggest uncertainties out there is the cost of gasoline. I think we've seen this historic trend where gas tends to go up, and when that happens, we start to think a bit more with our pocketbook. So uh, really, we're looking at it on a monthly cost of ownership basis and trying to make our products initially competitive to gasoline engines and in the long term better than gasoline engines for the consumer. How do you get over the, the consumer resistance to the upfront price? Education. That seems to be it. Yeah, absolutely. It's education. We have to explain to people the benefits and the values. Um, and in addition to the home charging that's becoming more and more available and less expensive, there's also a plethora of infrastructure charging. So we're very invested in, uh, in seeing this infrastructure grow. Um, through our, our channel partners and um, you know fast charge locations, and I think that really brings mobility and, and the ease of electric vehicles out to the population. To name one of your competitors, Volvo believes that we're headed to a world in the next few years where we'll have smaller battery packs and shorter driving ranges as the charging infrastructure gets built out. Do you see it that way? I, I think. I, our goal is to create a range of vehicles. What we have in the flexibility with our platform is that we can create a range for every price point and customer position. 
And that's what's really exciting about having this type of uh, a platform. Okay, you're full of uh, all kinds of interesting things. What yeah. am I missing here? What else should we talk about? Um, those are a lot of the main points. I mean, we're talking about flexibility of platform. We're talking about the everyday usability and drivability, the benefit to the customer. That really ties all the things together and then how we're positioned as Volkswagen to get that done. Okay. Matthew, thanks for your yeah, time this morning. Of Much Thank appreciated. You. Yeah, thanks. Future mobility is about digitizing the driver, vehicle, and environment. Thanks to high-performance radar sensor technology, autonomous driving will soon be reality.